Hey folks, good to see you today. This is CK. This is Chris from CK Hall Adventures, and we are out here at uh, CK Hall Adventures uh, headquarters, aka my backyard, and uh, got a little, uh, whew, little few bugs. Uh, got a little quick video here. Um, it's it's really more of a preview than this. Say hello. Hello. Um, I I got <laughs> this by a fire and see. <laughs> We had attacked by fire ants. Anyway, um, got this uh, tent, and we did a quick setup. Um, definitely could probably spend a little bit more time uh, working on it and everything and getting it set up, but I kind of threw it together just for a quick preview, and uh, I'm just going to kind of go into it. So what I've got for you, say hi, world. Hi, world. This is the Golden Shark 2. Uh, I think it's called the Hike 2. Um, I really haven't seen any videos on it uh, on YouTube or on anything. Uh, uh, so I think this may be one of the very first preview videos that I've seen that anyone has had on this tent. Uh, it's really not really fair to give it a review just for the fact that I haven't taken it out um, on an adventure. Uh, but uh, just kind of an overall quick setup. I think uh, London and I, are we going to camp out here tonight? Yeah, we're going to camp out here tonight. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. You know, we got our little little abode here. Nice little fire pit, which we uh, love a lot. So, that's it. Then we've got this whole half acre to play with. So, so uh you know, and, and like in any other kind of camping out situation, you always want to you always want to look up and see if there's any deadfall. So if a limb were to fall on you, you wouldn't crack your noggin. But we are we are good to go, um, and we'll go from here. So real quick, uh, just some of the features on this, uh, some of the specs is it has the outer rainfly tent, and you actually set that up first. Um, you've got one pole, and you can see that arch. Where we'll, we'll go in a little bit closer in a minute. Uh, but the uh, material for the outer tent is a 210T ripstop uh, polyester. Uh, the, the pole itself is a, is a real, very inexpensive, I don't want to say cheap, but a very inexpensive aluminum pole. Uh, it, is, it's, it is pretty lightweight. Uh, it comes with a lot of just real inexpensive uh, ground stakes, you know, the old traditional kind. Um, and then, of course, you've got a lot of cordage here for the guy lines. Um, and everything. Let's see here. Um, the base material is a Oxford cloth, <laughs> London, <laughs> 7,000 M double M waterproof. Um, it's got an outer materials waterproof. It says it can hold two people, but that's only if you are really comfortable with that person. Uh, there's, there's a, you know, it, it's, it's a fantastic tent if you're going to go by yourself. Uh, gives you plenty of room. Uh, I'm five foot nine, and I probably watch out, London. Watch out, you'll trip. You got to watch where you're going. Um, you know, there's there's probably about an extra maybe foot of headspace um, when once you get in there. But we'll we'll give that a look in a minute. Um, it says you can use it for four seasons, but I probably think it's more of a three season tent, and um, it weighs about about four pounds for the whole whole enchilada. Um, I think you probably could use less of the tent spikes and leave those at home um, But it's, it's not bad. It does it does come with this bag right there uh, It's a it's a decent sized bag uh, Probably would be good to hook up underneath your backpack if you were going to take it uh, backpacking um, So but it comes with the folding tent the carry bag aluminum poles guy ropes steel pegs and then the fly sheet and it says it's got a 12 month warranty so if something were to happen, um, as long as you had your records from, I guess, Amazon, uh, you could send that back in with no problems, um, London. Hold on, babe. So let's let's give this a look real quick. So as you can see, there's several tie-out points for the guy lines, and as like I said, you know, I could definitely 
play with those a little bit and 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 uh, straighten that out a little bit nicer but here's their here's their emblem the golden shark emblem uh, you have two doors on it, it has double entry and it has half mesh I kind of wish and maybe this is where they start going into reason move London move move you're worse than a puppy dog Joe Scout gets in the way well, actually you might get in the way more than Scout does but move move are you gonna go inside okay leave leave, leave the stuff outside though uh-huh this is my little helper uh-huh the lady in pink but anyway uh, you've got it with where you can roll up right here put in here this comes around there's a couple hookup points in here you have the one pole like I said that goes all the arches all the way around come back on this side of the tent the, the headboard side I guess you could call it and it has a little vent here it zips good and London says it zips good uh, the guy ropes it's just it's just real inexpensive cordage uh, nothing to write home about um, here you go here here's some specs here it says that it's waterproof uh, the seams are taped but they're it's very a very uh, third rate <laughs> I told you you gotta watch where you're going bear in mind if you have kids be sure to reinforce to watch out about the guy ropes because she has tripped twice move London uh, like I said the tape seams there I definitely would probably get some type of uh, uh, Get some type of uh, sealer to go ahead and just kind of for my own safety sake uh, go ahead and, and seal that up a little bit extra move London move of course it says uh, mosquitoes bug proof and uh, what's more nice to London stop uh, UV guard to help with sunlight so I guess like I was saying a minute ago here's the other door move London move move uh, it's got this half mesh door so I guess in the winter that would give you a little bit more protection. It's got a real nice vestibule that London is demonstrating. A five-year-old little girl can fit inside there. So if she can, I'm sure your pack can. Some shoes. Uh, you could definitely, you could definitely have plenty of space right there. And you don't need any shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you have plenty of space right here to, uh, if it's raining. Yeah. Move low. Move. Move low. Low. Move. Yeah, plenty of room here. I tell you what, videoing with a five-year-old. Uh, <laughs> move, honey. Move. So we've got this area right here where you know if it's raining outside, there's a little bit of cover over here to where you can set up your, your stove and cook. Uh, you got plenty of room back here to put your pack. That's actually a pretty good amount of space right there. And I'm about to trip over my own guidelines. Um, over here. Uh, you don't have the huge vestibule it's only on one side so this is pretty much just a secondary door I would say the other one where the vestibule is would be the main door uh, that you would go in and out of that's where you would store London be careful going around honey uh, going around where you would see your stuff so let's let's go inside and check it out um, the zippers on it I don't see doesn't give you any numbers or names um, but again uh, it's very you, you get what you pay for it's it's a pretty low price I I don't remember how much this tent cost me um, I will flash it at the bottom of the screen um, at the very beginning or the very end of uh, the video uh, but you can also see here uh, you've got the the stitching is just kinda second rate uh, there's a lot of these and you'll see more of that that stitching on the inside when we get in here all right uh, take shoes off okay so in here we've got the tent um, there's there's plenty of headroom to really kind of to set Indian style crisscross applesauce crisscross applesauce of course plenty of room for for a little girl named London um, but that she's down in the foot box area uh, there's actually you know it's, it's fairly fairly 
<laughs> good amount of space back there. She's, she's giving a good demonstration right now on what that is. Some of the things that it does not have is, London, don't do that. It does not have any type of pockets or storage uh, sleeves. Um, I guess this would be kind of, yeah, this would be one. Um, it's kind of camouflaged in here. I think if I if I tighten the tent up a little bit more, that would tighten that up. So you have a little bit of a storage space right here, but nothing up on top to hang. So hello, people. <laughs> to hang a mess, uh, a, a light or a headlamp or anything. Um, here we go. Uh, here's kind of the head area. It, it's like I said, it's it's, it's enough for you know, you don't want to be super huge. <laughs> we got a giggle box here. So um, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. You can see down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. See where some of the stitching is loose already. It just it's the stitching job is not the best possible. But like I say, you get what you pay for because it was not. It was not an expensive tent. Okay, zip that back up for me, Lo. Or hold on. Uh, okay, hold on a second, people. All right, we're back. Um, one thing I did note: I did miss two of the loops. There are a lot of places to tie this sucker out at. Here is one of them right here. Um, that might actually open that up a little bit more for me to, to bring that out, tie it. I think once I do that, once I do that, I can probably strengthen this. This is where the vent is. And the same thing over on that side. So there's a couple more adjustments. London, come here. There's a couple more adjustments with this tents but overall you know for the money it's not a bad little tent thus far like I said I really like that it does have a nice vestibule on that side so what that does is I think uh, if I remember the diagram and the pictures um, and you can look at on um, you can look on Amazon and it has like seven or eight pictures I think uh, you can actually see to where uh, the tent comes on the other side where this vestibule area is it comes out that so much side so you get a like an extra foot foot and a half of tent because it's not quite square it's got a little bitty indention almost like a, maybe a polygon or something but so not a bad tent um, it has the protection here for the zipper a uh, little protection sleeve that comes down um, it's not you definitely need maybe two hands to really zip this. It's a struggle with one, but it can be done. So, she's all zipped up and sealed. And that's what she looks like. The Golden Shark Hike 2 tent. So, like I said, uh, this was kind of more or less just a preview of the tent. Uh, and you can definitely tell, let me go back here, you can see on that, that head side where I could extend, there's two more guy lines that I could attach to extend that out to maybe open it up a little bit more. So I could finesse this, but it took me, it took me a good 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, first time it does not come with any instructions on how to set it up. It does not, uh, kind of give you that you kind of got to figure it out your own you do like I said earlier I'm kind of skipping around here I'm so sorry about that folks you do uh, have to set up the the rain fly first and then hit the the inside with the toggles what's nice about that is you could set this up without the tent for a summer tent and just have the rain fly or I mean in the winter so you could do that as your just your protection yes sweetheart no, I'm not mad at you, you goofball. I just don't want you to trip. Um, so, so you could take this out in colder weather when you don't have to deal with bugs. Uh, here where I live in Arkansas, uh, we've had two crappy winters where we've had no winter. I think we've had a dusting last year, and this past winter we had a very, very slight dusting. I don't think we even had a school day off. Uh, definitely no, we didn't have a work day off. But, uh, but you know, this is kind of how, how it is. Um, but to uh, get back into my 
of the skeleton here. Uh, something I'm going to do is as I get these tents, especially some of these cheaper tents, and you know, depending on where I'm at, because I, I don't want to have a, like a closet full of you know 30 and 40 tents, is as I go through these tents, and some of them I'll just do previews like this. Some of them I'll do a preview and I'll take it. I'll take it uh, camping. Um, I have another tent that I'm gonna. I'm gonna we're gonna go on an adventure in a couple weeks, and we're gonna go. I think camp out, maybe car camp, and then uh, we're gonna go uh, meet with some folks from work and do a little float trip down the Buffalo River here in Arkansas. So I think on that one I've got a another uh, tent that I'm going to video and that one I've taken out a couple times so I can actually give not just a preview but I can give a whole review on it and it is really a great tent um, but for the, the golden shark um, it's it's like I said again I think this is maybe the third or fourth time it is not bad for the money if you need a beginning tent uh, something that's fairly lightweight um, and especially if you're gonna be by yourself uh, gives you plenty of room on the inside uh, for your uh, living uh, compartment so with that um, the last thing I'm going to say with this video is that one of the things I'm going to start doing with these tents um, as I go through them is I'm going to start a little foundation more or less to where uh, you see a lot of the people out on those street corners especially by the highways who are the homeless folks and uh, during the winter I had some sleeping bags and I would roll down my window and I, I never give those folks money because I know there's some people who are scamming. Uh, I, I knew a guy in, in Dallas, um, I knew a guy in Dallas, Texas, who, who uh, sat on a street corner and um, we're going to come over here and sit. And he, uh, he uh, would panhandle all day long, and then at the end of the day, he would walk three or, four, three or four blocks down to his Mercedes and get in and go home. And I think they caught that on the news or something. But um, what I'm saying is, is I, just, I just don't really feel comfortable with giving them money. Um, you know, every now and then I will buy extra food at McDonald's whenever I'm getting the kids something, or I will uh, uh, have water bottles or canned goods or something in the truck that I'll roll down my window and pass them, folks. But uh, you know, sometimes all you need is a place to call your home because I do believe there are some folks out there, a lot of folks out there that probably are legitimately homeless. Uh, I have an uncle who he uh, is more or less homeless. I don't know if he's still alive or not uh, in Oklahoma City area that started a place called Tent City. And I don't know if it still exists, if he's still out there or whatever, but sometimes all you need is a home to kind of get your bearings straight, you know, to get out of the wind, to get out of the rain, uh, just to to make yourself fresh, uh, maybe to walk down to the truck stop and get a shower and, and maybe venture out and, and get that job that you haven't had in a long time to start bringing in a little bit of cash to start progressing your life. So uh, with that, what I'm going to start doing with a lot of these tents that I get, um, uh, this tent right here I actually purchased. Um, I've had a couple that uh, Amazon or, you know, a, a, a company with a seller within Amazon um, have actually either sent to me as a discount um, or actually sent me a free tent. But this one I actually purchased all on my own. But as I get these tents and some of this other gear, you know, I don't have really space to, to store them all the time. Uh, it'd be nice to have a huge storage just for kind of outdoor adventure kind of stuff. But I don't have that. And uh, I figured, you know what, let's, let's give back to the community. So I'm kind of starting off this thing that I'm calling Adventure Homes for Homeless. So um, what I'll do is at some point in time, uh, and it'll be at the end of this video that you'll see in just a second, is me stopping at some random corner and uh, 
getting my son or myself you know, with a selfie image or something to go in and and, uh, and uh, giving these tents, some of these tents to the homeless folks and giving them a place to, to lay their head down out of the wind or, or rain or what have you. So, um, But that's about it um, for right now. Um, I will wrap this up with with uh, that homeless section um, if I decide to uh, give the uh, golden shark away which I think I probably will just because I have a couple other tents like this that I like better the quality is a little bit better um, not that I'm saying I'm giving the homeless you know poor shoddy stuff because I've actually uh, passed out some sea to summit stuff to uh, the homeless as well so uh, you know that stuff's not super super cheap but uh, anyway I just wanted to, to come at you with this video, uh, share my thoughts, and uh, apparently I have a, a, a partner here who also wanted to make her comments known as well. So hey, be safe out there, have a lot of fun, enjoy life. London, do you have anything to say? Um, <laughs> um, it's a very really great kid that daddy wants to give that garden shock away <laughs> that I think it's amazing and daddy doesn't but we can go camping on our back hall today um we will see you guys later say peace out peace out <laughs> later guys hey can I see a video